This is the supine overhead reach. You're gonna set up on your back with both knees bent. What you're going to do is you're with your, with your thumbs kind of facing the ceiling to start. You're going to slowly reach overhead as far back as you can go. Pause for a second at your end range and then control it back. Okay. This is a nice way to get some um, shoulder flexion without gravity kind of affecting that shoulder too much. If this is pinchy for you, if it's uncomfortable for you, the first thing that you should do is one, look to reduce your range of motion just a touch. If it's still pinchy for you, if it's still uncomfortable, maybe try it with a dowel rod or a broomstick. So kind of holding a broomstick in your hand with both arms kind of down and then going overhead like this, okay? Where that opposite arm will kind of be um, helping out the affected arm. We're gonna go for about two to three sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. If it's not uncomfortable and it feels like a good stretch, just stay here. Um, again, if it's uncomfortable, we have a couple modifications that you can make. You can one, reduce the range of motion, or two, add that broomstick to get a little bit of help from the other side. This is the abduction wall slide. You're gonna set up with the affected arm close to the wall. Your feet are gonna be about half a foot's length away from the wall. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your hand kind of next to your chin, and you're going to slowly kind of slide your arm up, up until you feel like you're kind of out of range of motion, or you feel like um, you can't go any higher. Once you get there, you're gonna lean your hips into the wall until you get a good stretch, and then use that wall to slowly come back down. If that's too much, that's okay. Just reduce your range of motion a little bit. You're gonna slowly go up and kind of using that wall to kind of guide you up until you feel like you're out of room, and then use that wall to help kind of guide you back down, okay? Going for two to three rounds of about 10 repetitions here, the abduction wall slide. This is the lateral shoulder raise. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set up in a standing position with good posture. You're going to slow and controlled, raise both arms out to the side, up until about 80 to 90 degrees of shoulder flexion. So when I look out, my hands should be almost shoulder height to shoulder height. We don't wanna go much above shoulder height because it might be a little bit uncomfortable. Um, we wanna get somewhere kind of in that neighborhood of shoulder height here. Our palms are gonna stay facing down the whole time. And we're gonna go for about 10 to 12 repetitions. If this is easy for you, a good way to make it a little bit harder is to add some external load. So you can either add like a water bottle, a can of soup, or if you have like one or two pounders at home, grab those one or two pound weights to add a little external load. This is the lateral shoulder raise. We're gonna go two to three rounds, 10 to 12 repetitions. This is shoulder external rotation with a band. You're gonna set up with your band kind of hooked into a, um, a doorway, or you can tie it onto a doorknob, something about waist height. You're gonna usually set up with about your medium tension band um, to your light band. You're gonna tuck a towel roll underneath your armpit to have something to squeeze down on. So you're gonna squeeze down on that towel roll, pull your shoulder blades back to get into that good posture position. Thumb is gonna be up, and you're going to externally rotate at the shoulder. So you're gonna slide that shoulder out and back, okay? So I'm just like sliding my hand out, making sure my elbow stays bent and I'm not dropping that hand down. My elbow stays bent. I'm staying squeezed down on that towel roll. I'm going out and back, about 10 to 12 repetitions. If you're doing it right, you should feel the burn right on the outside of that shoulder and the back side of the shoulder blade. Just keeping those blades squeezed back, and opening that um, elbow up and back. About 10 to 12 repetitions, two to three sets through. The shoulder external rotation. This is the banded row. You're gonna set up with your band in the doorway stopper at about waist height. You're gonna set up with your um, knees slightly bent, um, facing the band. Thumbs are gonna be up. You're gonna pull the band towards your chest and back out. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades as I pull and then back out. You're gonna go for about 10 to 12, making sure you're squeezing your shoulder blades as you come back. Setting up with your medium to heavy band with this exercise. Two to three rounds, 10 to 12 repetitions. This is the banded row. 